When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I do? Once upon a time, a little girl was born after a war when sweets were very rare. She lived in a big dirty city full of people and noise and traffic in a black and white time. But there was always plenty of colour in her life and music, always music. She was friendly with everyone in her neighbourhood. And she loved being you must in the have been a beautiful baby. At school she spent much you of her time in the corner of the art room. Child. Music you ran in her family child. and nobody batted an eyelid when she played the drums. One day on her travels she heard a beautiful jingly jangly sound. It was a red haired boy with a red guitar. Who? Baby. So she packed up her sticks and stayed up cooking, cleaning, washing, sweeping, cooking, cleaning, washing, sweeping. When the children were old enough for school, all the schools in town were full. What to do? Suddenly a good fairy appeared and said, But she loved the big city. So with her sensible head on, she moved to the country and if built a shelter the in the woods. Today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you Every day she chopped wood, wood to make today, fires and hunted for food in the nearest the village shop. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for Sunday shop. Today's the day that It was quite an adventure for about two weeks. Then the rain came, and with it the mud. <laughs> and then the bees moved in. And then the mice. And when the wind set in, she was trapped for weeks on end. And it went on, and on, and on, and on. She tried to be a country bum, <laughs> but not a happy one. To her, the country was a scary place of dark, dark woods and creatures ready to bite. And creepy crawlies around every corner. She made friends with the creatures just to get by. Look at all those leaves. And the woods began to grow around her. He's been credited with saving over a billion lives. One day she was very poorly and they sent her off to hospital. Eight operation in as many years. down and back to front. But painting made her very happy. She painted the face of people she knew so she always had her friends around her. When the children were both over five feet high, the good fairy came again. Hello again, it's time for you to spend more time back in the big city, but I only have enough magic to send you once a week. Hooray! She packed 
her paints and headed for the station. Long train rides. And motorway drives. And so many stairs. But up the top of the stairs lived a wizard with white hair. Who told stories and helped to see the world in colour again. She was back in the big city again. She made new friends who all spoke the same languages. She worked hard. So where does the story end? With a song of course!